Corruption is a big thing in the world and it just keeps getting worse. Today, we take a look at some corrupt police officers. First up is Sheriff Lee Barker. He retired from being a sheriff when he found out that he had been busted for taking bribes to get guards to beat up prison inmates. And I've been proud and honored to serve the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department and the people of this greatest of counties, Los Angeles County, for the past 48 years. I can't even imagine anyone working 48 years at anything. But I've done that, which has made this decision in my life probably the most difficult. Uh, the duties of a sheriff are too complex and too mass to describe simply. But all the people of this county count. Everybody. And the men and women of the Sheriff's Department and I are dedicated to the welfare of the people of this county. It doesn't matter who they are, what their difficulties may be. They're always at the foremost of our thoughts and mine. So therefore, I have great gratitude to the people who have elected me. And at the same time that I was elected to four terms, I will go out on my terms. I'm not going to seek re-election for a fifth term as sheriff, and I will retire at the end of this month. The reasons for doing so are so many. Some are most personal and private. But the prevailing one is the negative perception this upcoming campaign has brought. He claimed that his retirement was for personal reasons, but once the trial started, this is how the events unfolded. Several former and current deputies with the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department were just arrested as part of a major sting that targeted everything from corruption to inmate abuse. Meanwhile, more breaking news. Former LA County Sheriff Lee Baca is now a convicted criminal. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen is live in downtown LA where the verdicts in Baca's corruption case came down just a short while ago. Convicted former LA County Sheriff Lee Baca will likely go to prison. His last ditch appeal to the Supreme Court has been denied. Now back here at home, a devastating blow to the LA Sheriff's Department, a scandal involving abuse, lies, and cover-ups. And CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen is live in downtown LA where ex-Sheriff Lee Baca was found guilty on corruption charges. Lee Baca got diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. He was then sentenced to five years in prison alongside his corrupted friends and unsuccessfully challenged his convictions by stating that the jury should have known about his Alzheimer's before handing down the sentence. Up next, we have the time Sheriff James Luan of Rio Araba Country got arrested for obstruction of justice. Another one of his sheriff's buddies showed up and tried to interfere. What is sir? Executing a search warrant. Uh, Sheriff Luhan. Search warrant for him or? For the building as well. For what? I have no idea. It's house. But no, just stay here. No, I, can't, I, can't, I can't have you enter the, the scene. You guys are fucked up, man. Let's get him on the opposite side of this truck. Cody? Let's go on the I opposite can't tell. side. Why is that? Dude, that that's let's, messed up. Let's walk over here. Sure. Sure. That's what I'm saying. Let's get him on the opposite side of this truck. I got the press out here taking pictures of me in handcuffs. Push him, push him around into the doorway. Yeah, push him around into the doorway. At least to the doorway. Aye. The same sheriff that wanted to interfere in the investigation then wanted no part of it. He refused to take evidence and then proceeded to interfere more with the investigation once the cops got to the sheriff's department to continue their search for evidence. This is Mac, and then we're going to get you his sidebar. Get everything, I don't want part of it. We're all coming on now. What do you mean everything? So this is what we took off this person? You're the one that took it off this person? Took it off this person. Deputy Graves. We're handing it right over to you. Okay, good for you. Okay, you can get away from me. Are you going to comply, yes or no? That's okay. all I want. I want the phones. That's it. I told you. You have your search warrants, yes, the 
search me for personal phones? He has a phone. He already told me he has a phone. Okay. That's so, not what the search warrant says, does it? Okay, so you want us to lock down the sheriff's office? Go ahead and call them back. You're going to stay out here, sir. Stay out here. For what? Because... Under sheriff? You can go through the court system. Sorry, we are. Sure. We're going to lock down this building until he gives me the school. Really? Yes, that's what the DA's office is. Really? Yeah. Where is that on paper? You're not going to stop me from leaving if I want to leave. Am I under arrest? If we have to. Am I under arrest? Not now. Now for the time, Henry County Sheriff and 12 other police officers were busted for possession of drugs as well as dealing them. The FBI were conducting a five-year investigation on them and had finally busted them. Obviously, I think uh, what we talked about in the indictment, it talks about uh, multiple kilograms of cocaine, ounces of cocaine, and then hundreds of pounds of marijuana over a, over a period of time. But, but essentially, these were uh, drugs and guns that were seized as part of their law enforcement duties and then stolen from the property room and put back out on the street. Uh, in fact, there's, there's one instance uh, in which a firearm was seized as part of a, uh, an investigation. That firearm was processed. It was given a property tag and sticker and put in the property room. Somehow it was stolen or removed from the property room. Law enforcement at a later date executed another search warrant uh, at, a, at, a, at a drug house, or at least believed to be a drug house, and found that gun in it. And so you have law enforcement risking their lives to take these guns off the streets, and then a very few other members of law enforcement putting them right back out there. There was no news on what happened to these officers and the sheriff, but I sure do hope they are serving a lot of time in prison. Next up, we have a Michigan sheriff that was found asleep in his car on the side of the road after what looks like heavy drinking. This is how things started off. Pardon? Pardon? Sir, you need to wake up and talk to me. I, I don't understand. What are you doing? You're on the side of the road, slumped over. What's going on today? Oh, jeez. Uh... I have you lighted up because we had a call. Well, first off, it's so no one hits us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And second of all, someone called, said you were sitting on the side of the road, slumped over, which you were. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What, uh, what's going on today? Nothing. Nothing? No. You got to give me a little more than that. Not, not just, we don't all just sit down and sleep on the side of the road. I know. I'm sorry. Have you been drinking? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not driving. Once the sheriff was a little more up to getting out of his car, he attempted to pull his sheriff card. It's Van Sloten. Oh, shit. My dispatcher called. Someone thought you were dead over here. I'm fucking good. Hey, I don't know who you are. I'm, I'm fucking... Fucking Midland County Sheriff. I, I'm fucking good. I had a fucking bad day. Okay? I don't, I don't need EMS. I don't need you. I'm very frickin' embarrassed, like you can't frickin' believe. You can't frickin' believe. How many drinks have you had? Today? Today. Ooh. In the last four hours. Four? I don't know. Yeah, it's 4.30. Yeah. yeah. Four. So it's four yeah. and... Four beers, four... Four beers. Four yeah. beers? Okay. Yeah. Then they decided to perform a sobriety test. Okay. Blow, 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 blow. Is that good? Might be. Oh, shit, Jerry. Well, you know what? Hey, Jesus Christ, I'm fucking praying. I, 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 know, I know the situation I'm putting you in. I fucking get it. Jerry, five, Jesus two, Christ. Eight, one, six, five, two, eight, one, six, Give me a fucking... Try to fucking help me out, man. I can't go to fucking jail for fucking drunk driving. Are you fucking kidding? We now have a lieutenant that got stopped for swerving on the interstate. Boy, was he unprepared for this stop. Okay, you got your ID? Department ID? And your driver's license? Yeah, the reason why I'm stopping you is we got multiple reckless driving calls about you. The reason why I'm stopping you is we got multiple reckless driving calls about you. Okay. And then when I'm following you, you're hitting the shoulder of the road. You been drinking? How many? 
Okay. I seen you reaching in the back. You have an open container back there? You've been drinking on the way here? You got your registration proof of insurance? Do you have a firearm on you? Okay. Do you got your pistol? Are you a corrections officer or just a deputy? Okay. Alright, just a tight right back to you. He admitted to reaching for an open bottle. This really is not going to go well for him, but at least he was honest. Until he stopped complying with the officers and resisted arrest. We're not pulling over anymore. I am pulled over. Out. Fine. Out. No. Just Ryan. You know how this works. Do you think we want to do this? No. no then let me just I, pull off. My, our hands are tied. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No. Out. No. no. We just have to. Out. Brian, go. Come on. No. Hold Brian, on, guys. Brian. One more time. Step out of the vehicle. No, Brian. one more time. Step out You're of going the to get a fucking taser. No. One step more out time. of the vehicle. Can we talk about it? Step out of the vehicle. 17, step it up. No. No. Guys. Step out of the vehicle. You're getting a taser. Back up. No. Taser right now if you don't get out. <laughs> Make it work, okay. Out. Right now. Go to the front of my car. 